Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Hello World, the new 10-song debut EP from recent friend of the channel, Aubrey Digital. I've put a link down in the description to her interview if you'd like to check it out after this video. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, please hit me up using my email address or social media link in the description. While you're down there, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on future videos and live streams. Thanks! Aubrey and I first met at Taverna Costera's rooftop stage where she was playing keyboards for Hal Savar and his band. I'm not sure what to expect from this, so let's jump in, shall we? I hope I like it. I'm old enough to be considered analog. Kicking things off is Into the Air, a track that starts off with sparse instrumentation that builds and layers up into an upbeat little number. From the first vocal, it's clear that Aubrey wants to introduce herself to the listener with happy lyrics that also make a declaration of who she is, like, I won't be a pawn no more, I won't waste another day, ready now to explore, it's great to know I'm not afraid. The next track is Out in the Open, which keeps the upbeat feel from the first song, but introduces more melodic moments and hopeful lyrics like I've got to find my way out if it kills me I've got to find my way out of here because out in the open we'll be free to be ourselves this one is just one of a few songs Aubrey graced room six with at her recent interview and performance make sure you check that out when you're done here song number three on the album is metaphor for my love featuring a guest spot by room six alumni Spencer Hinton also known as kook Evoking the phrasing of Jack Johnson with a little bit of monkey's feel, Aubrey and Kook harmonize and counterpoint wonderfully with lyrics like, And all this is just a metaphor for my love, and my pain's not identical to my no one's. I'm this close to finishing, give me a dose of stronger medicine. Coming up next is Refresh, the shortest track on the album. Picking up almost uninterrupted from the last song, the pace and tone change here to a bit more industrial with a driving beat and sparser instrumentation. The vocal style here is different too, moving from lyrical singing to more spoken word bordering on rapping with lyrics like, it's the same damn page and I feel like less and I feel like death, I feel like sunshine and rainbows I guess, could be so much worse I'm in pain I confess, aren't we all? From there we move on to, it don't really matter, which again shifts expectations to something from the Beatles of the 60s and 70s with bouncing melodies and lyrics that are deeper than the surface like, so go ahead and grow your hair out real long and sing along. Baby, I'm playing your favorite song. And if nothing's right, then everything is wrong. But it just seems right when you're the reason my whole day is gone by. The next tune is More Than Before, which stays in the same musical vein as the previous song, although slightly slowed down for more emphasis. Like driving around with the handbrake on? Wow, that sounds horrible. Echoing vocals with delay add to the whole vibe, ringing out lyrics like, but somehow these tables turn and I feel fine now, cannot make predictions. Had to grab the white out, no, I'm not a victim, this ain't my first night out. Next batter up is Every Day, which picks things back up a little with crashing cymbals throughout, adding another layer to the mix before everything drops out to punctuate lyrics like, left on the side of the road in a bad place, please won't you wipe all the tears off your sad face. It's getting better, our glasses filled half full. Blowing in at track number eight is Breeze, bringing in some island vibes with slowed down chords, balancing out the quicker pace of Aubrey's vocals, which are reminiscent of Mickey Avalon or Jason Mraz. We also get some keyboards and mini guitar solos to finish the song after some lyrics like, insanity's my only prayer, but it doesn't have to be. Life's wonders, there are plenty. Each morning, can't believe I wake up, it's a dream. I almost lost everything, but now I am back to grieve. Back to my regularly scheduled program. The second to last song on the album is This Life, which maintains the vibe of the last track. Aubrey's definitely telling her story through this EP, and as the tracks progress, we get a little more serious each time. In this case, the listener can hear the pain behind lyrics like, I just can't figure out what it's all about. Just can't figure out this life. I just can't figure out what it's all about. I wonder why I even try. 
Finishing up the album, and tying with track number 6 for longest song on the album, is I Can't Do It By Myself. Cranking things up a bit with some rock elements, this tune is Aubrey's last chance to make you hear her lyrics, with lines like, I used to throw away all of the time I had, and now I'm so afraid I'll never get it back. Afraid I'll always be stuck way behind the pack. Nobody's calling me except a seller crap. But do I ever dial? So now I know it goes both ways. I'm a forever child, lost in the Milky Way. Not trapped in the wrong body, just trapped in the body you see. Trapped by your perception of me when I just want to be free. With upbeat rhythms carrying deep messages hidden behind lyrics that are clever and insightful, Hello World by Aubrey Digital is a great and well-produced listen, both casually and in-depth. Taking the listener through her personal journey and transformation, she should be proud of what she's made, and I'm glad I got the chance to review it. I think you'll like it too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down in the description to get your own copy of Hello World by Aubrey Digital. Um, it's a great listen, honestly, and I really meant every word I said. In the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, like I said, hit me up using my email address or the social media link, which is also how you can find out how to support the channel by buying merch, becoming a Patreon patron, all sorts of ways. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here, and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, really make a difference, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.